Okay, again, as I was saying, it's a joy for PMA to be hosting uh, the 12th Triennial uh, Convention for Asia Missions Association. Hopefully this would work. This is our strategic vision, making the Great Commission a great completion in the Philippines and beyond. This is the vision of PMA. We see every Filipino church working together in the, in the discipleship of all nations. And uh, this is because Filipinos are very global. I'll talk about that later. The, the mission of PMA, yeah, PMA exists to encourage and enable Filipinos for cross-cultural disciple-making movements. So we encourage and we enable Filipinos to be engaged. Next. Okay, so we want to engage, engage the global Filipino church in the global harvest. And of course, foundational there is prayer and intercession, and then missions education. And then you see uh, mobilization, training, sending, and the caring. Next, please. So we continually work on mobilizing more churches and denominations to be engaged. And we did uh, last year uh, several uh, missions conferences in the south and here in Manila. Next. And of course, vision casting in different parts of uh, the country, missions, uh, missions events, missions awareness events. And of course, we launched uh, the ION uh, ministry last year uh, to really encourage more uh, people or Filipinos to be engaged in uh, translating the Word of God. So we're trusting the Lord for 500 Bible translation workers uh, until 2025. Next. And then training. We do have a lot of trainings equipping churches and organizations. I oh, better not use the slide. Okay, next. So uh, these are some of the trainings that we do. Wag na lang yung slide. Stop that one. Okay, there are 12 million Filipinos living and working overseas. And over a million of them are believers. And because of this, we are actually uh, mobilizing our churches here and overseas to be engaged in equipping and training them. One million of uh, Filipinos uh, living and working overseas are believers in 210 countries of the world. And so we're uh, training and equipping uh, many of them, challenging them to really be engaged in the harvest. 1.7 million Filipinos are in Saudi Arabia. And uh, as estimated about uh, one, close to 1 million in the United Arab Emirates, about, about a million in Qatar, about a million in, in uh, Bahrain, about a million in Kuwait. And so we are uh, mobilizing the Filipinos wherever God uh, brings them. And we are thanking God for the opportunity to see not just Filipinos coming to Christ, but even non-Filipinos uh, coming to the saving knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, it's really exciting to see how ordinary Filipinos trained and equipped uh, to share the gospel is being used of the Lord to plant churches, not just among Filipinos, but even cross-culturally. And of course, uh, in, in the Philippines, we're also trusting the Lord to be able to really see the Great Commission completed. There are still 13 Muslim and rich people groups, and we are really advocating for people group adoption because we don't want to just see uh, you know, mobilize, uh, PMA mobilizing Filipinos to be engaged in uh, reaching out overseas, but uh, neglecting, you know, uh, the UPGs down in, uh, here in the Philippines. So we're working on that now, and we thank God for the successes that are happening, breakthroughs that are happening. Uh, I talked with one of the, the ministries working in the South, and in the last seven months, this was like we met three months ago, uh, they said that there are about close to 300 Muslims baptized in just uh, seven months. No? So God is really at work. We're seeing breakthroughs. Uh, and uh, not only that, if you go to Davao City, down south, there are more than 4,000 Indian medical students uh, studying at Davao Medical School. So beginning last year, we began mobilizing churches down south to be engaged in reaching the Hindus as well. And there are several churches now that are engaged in reaching out to them. And we had uh, uh, conducted trainings in partnership with other ministries uh, so that uh, they would be able to help us equip our churches down south to really reach out to uh, the Indians. About 90% of those medical students 
are actually uh, Hindus. And we are thanking God for that opportunity to be part of what God is doing there. There are also about a million men, mainland Chinese here in the Philippines uh, doing business. Many of them are in Manila. And we are also seeing churches now responding to the challenge to engage uh, with these people uh, with the gospel. And of course, uh, there were a lot of recognitions that the Philippines were given were actually, uh, according to the Global uh, Business Corporation, the Philippines is the best country in business English. And this opened so much doors for uh, the Filipinos to be sending English teachers. One of our ministries had sent over 100 English teachers in China. You know, we have other ministries that had been sending uh, English teachers in Thailand, in Cambodia, in Vietnam, and in different parts of Asia. And uh, we also have the most number of seafarers in the world. 30% of all seafarers in the world are Filipinos. And uh, the latest that we had uh, been counting, there are close to 300 churches on the ocean because the, the ship captain who is a Filipino said, I'm not just the captain of the ship, I'm also the missionary here, I'm also the pastor. So I began sharing the gospel to Filipinos and non-Filipinos on board the ship and we're seeing churches on the ocean, floating churches. And uh, in fact, I, I, yeah, so Filipinos are planting churches in the land and in the sea. And some Filipino Christian pilots are telling me, let's plant churches also in the air. <laughs> anyway, but uh, Filipinos are all over. And so we would want to really see that they will be more engaged in the global harvest. As I was saying, about 1.7 uh, in, uh, million in Saudi Arabia and about 10% are believers. Think of 170,000 Filipinos out there. And uh, recently, a lot of testimonies have been shared with us how ordinary housemaids and domestic helpers, uh, construction workers and engineers are use of the Lord for Saudis to come to know Christ uh, right there in Saudi Arabia. And uh, in Qatar, we're also seeing breakthroughs. Qataris are coming to Christ through our overseas Filipinos that have been engaged there in uh, the Kingdom of Bahrain. Uh, the, one of our tent makers is the the chief uh, who, uh, engineer who maintains all the moss. And he was telling us uh, during my last visit that every time you would in, uh, in, you know, visit the moss to see if there are maintenance work that needs to be done, the first thing he would do is he would kneel down in the center of the moss and pray. And uh, as a result, we, we are seeing that Muslims, more Muslims are coming to Christ. And he was telling me that personally he had the joy of leading several of his colleagues to the Lord. So God is really at work in different parts of the Middle East, in different parts of Asia, different parts of the world because of our overseas Filipino workers. So we're crossing the Lord for more Filipinos to be engaged. So we're working on that. But again, down here also back in the Philippines, we're also mobilizing our churches to be engaged in the global harvest. Presently, there are 66,000 evangelical churches in the country. And there's a new vision, a new initiative that by the end of 2020, we will double the number of churches. Please do pray with us. We're trusting the Lord for 120,000 churches by the end of 2020. And based on the statistics that we had, uh, this unchurched barang there are 40,000 communities, or we call it barangays in the Philippines. 21,000 of them, this is where you can see the 66,000 churches. In other words, 21,000 barangays does not have one single evangelical church. So that's the greatest challenge. And most of them are depressed communities. Most of them are Muslim-dominated areas and some uh, uh, Catholic-dominated areas. So the UPG agenda is really very much part of uh, the church planting initiatives that we are having now in the Philippines. So please do pray with us that we would be able to see all the 13 Muslim and uh, UPGs be reached with the gospel. So 66,000 churches divided by 13, that's about 5,000 churches to one UPG. We're really advocating for people group adoption. Pray that we will have more churches to be engaged. Uh, on Wednesday, I'll be talking about global partnership in missions during the plenary. And so I'll be sharing more details of the frameworks or the things that we are doing uh, on how we are mobilizing the global Filipino church to be engaged in the global harvest. But for now, I think uh, that that should be all. Do pray that we would really get the one million plus believers, Filipinos, 
in 210 countries of the world be engaged in the global harvest. Thank you very much. God bless you.